This video is an introduction to the Raptor flowcharting tool that we will use in this class. Raptor was created by the U.S. Air Force Academy and can be downloaded free of charge. To download Raptor, go to raptor.martincarlisle.com. Download the latest version. Once Raptor is installed on your machine, to run it, go to Start, All Programs, and Raptor. You will see a window that looks like this. The first thing to do is to save this program where you will be able to find it again. If you're working on a home computer, save it to a folder where you will keep your work for this class. If you're working on a school computer, you will probably want to save it to a flash drive. I'm going to call this gross pay. Next, add a comment to this flowchart, which includes the program name and your name. To do that, right click on the start symbol select comment, then enter your information, then click done. To add other symbols to our flowchart, first click on the type of symbol and then click where you want to insert it in the flowchart. I will add an input symbol between the start and end ovals. I click on input and then click between the ovals. Now add details to the input symbol by double clicking it. In the top box, enter a prompt such as enter the hours worked in quotations. In the bottom box, enter a variable such as hours. Then click done. Now let's add another input for the employee's pay rate. Double click. In quotations, enter the pay rate. And the variable will be called pay rate. Make it all one word without spaces. We will now compute the gross pay. To do that, click the assignment symbol and then click below our last input symbol. Double click on our assignment. In the first box, put the name of a variable that will hold the result of our calculation. In this case, gross pay. In the second box, we put our calculation. Hours times pay rate. Remember to spell them the same as you spelled these variables in the input symbols. Click done. Now we need to display the result. For that, we use an output symbol. Double click on the output. This part is a little tricky. First, enter the text that you want enclosed in quotes. The gross pay is with a dollar sign at the end. Then I use a plus sign to connect the text string with a value. Then I enter the variable that holds the result, gross pay. Click done. Our flowchart is now ready to execute. Click the execute button that looks like the play button on a CD player. 
we can watch the program execute. Enter 40 for hours worked. Enter 7.50 for pay rate. The output goes to the master console and we can see that the gross pay is $300. Don't forget to save your Raptor program. If you want to print your flowchart, click File and Print Preview. We can change the print size using Print Scale. This concludes our introduction to Raptor.